Langchain versus Semantic Kernel. Which one is better? Langchain and Semantic Kernel are open source tools for building AI applications, especially with large language models, LLMs, like GPT. While they share similarities, their focus and use cases differ significantly. What they have in common? The first one is LLM integration. Both frameworks help developers integrate with generative AI models like GPT to power applications. Second one is workflow creation. Both allow multi-step workflows connecting AI capabilities like reasoning, summarizing, and decision-making into reusable process. The third one is open source. Both are free and open source, making them accessible to developers without upfront costs. But there are some key differences you have to know. The first one is Langchain designed for AI-first application where LLMs play a central role. It's great for building chatbots, document retrieval systems, and complex reasoning for flow. Works primarily in Python, but has support for JavaScript or TypeScript. Semantic Kernel focuses on integrating AI into existing traditional software projects. Developed by Microsoft, it turns AI skills like summarizing or planning into workflows, particularly for enterprise developers in C++ or Net ecosystem. The second one is knowledge retrieval. Langchain is strong and retrieval augmented generation, or RAG, which allows LLMs to research external data sources like database and PDFs to answer questions with context. Semantic Kernel focuses more on programming techniques and task orchestration, blending AI tasks with plugins and existing software. Ease of use. Langchain requires coding expertise and is best suited for Python developers building AI-heavily applications. The Semantic Kernel uses module skills and plugins, making it easier for developers working with it upstream ecosystem, especially if other cloud services are used. Four is ecosystem. Langchain popular in research and startup with strong community support for AI-driven applications. Semantic Kernel ties deeply to Microsoft Azure ecosystem and ideal for enterprise-grade application. The pricing. Both are free to use as framework, but costs came from APIs or services. Langchain may use paid services like OpenAI's GPT model or vector database storage. Semantic kernel integrates with other service or OpenAI APIs, adding costs based on usage, when to use. Choose Langchain if you're working on complex AI applications like chatbots or customized question answering over documents, ideal for startup researchers or Python developers needing rich external data access. Choose Semantic Kernel if you're embedding AI into enterprise projects or using C++ or .NET. Best for developers familiar with Azure and Microsoft tools where AI is a small part of the workflow. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to the channel.